Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Choi Jun Seo. I'll talk about our STEAM activity. The topic is a study on the improvement and particular use of measurement devices using green theory. Let's start. I think you learned how to measure the area of triangle or square or any other simple shapes. But how about this shape? Can you measure the area of it? Mm, maybe you can, but I think it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to introduce you about planimeter. I think you didn't heard about this before, so I'll introduce you about it. Planimeter is a tool to measure an area. It can measure any shapes, but it needs a huge accuracy. So it is really expensive. You can see here. So let's say your wallpaper is ripped a little bit like this picture. So you want to measure the area of it. So you have to buy a planimeter by almost $1 million. Do you want to? Um, I think you don't want to. So we, we decided to make it by Arduino. Arduino is very cheap computer chip. So we will make it cheaper and efficient. Okay. The main idea of the planimeter is green theory. It makes much easier to integral and calculate the area. Mm, but let's skip complicated things because I think it's gonna take an hour to explain it. So, okay. We made three planimeters. And first one is linear planimeter. We made a prototype, you can see here, by Lego, and we <laughs> improved this material by metal. And first prototype had a big error, but improved model had only 5% error. We wanted to compare this error with graph paper, so we made an algorithm which calculates area with graph paper. We used Pick's law to calculate the area. So we finally found out the error of this is similar with 5 millimeter times 5 millimeter graph paper. And second one is hatchet planimeter. The name of it is hatchet planimeter because the original version of it is made by hatchet. So we decided to make it by a hill because hatchet is a little bit dangerous. So okay. we made, so as you can see here, there are two types. The first one is made by two laser sensors and second type is made by only one gyro sensor. We tried many lengths and many times, but always the error was very big. So the error is because of this red area. As you can see in this picture, red area always changes, so it makes theoretical error. So we finally decided to make our own new planimeter. And we succeed, as you can see in this picture. We challenged a new thing. It is designed to extend the length, so we measured the area 20 times with this planimeter, and the error was the best. It was only 3%. Okay, now it's the conclusion. We made three planimeters. We made three planimeters by Arduino. And linear planimeter and our new planimeter was very successful. So we will commercialize these th things in the future, maybe. And we can make these planimeters by only $40, so I think we can make, earn some money, maybe. Okay, thank you for listening to my presentation.